Hello everyone, welcome into, the, welcome into this week's my weekly CBS Fix. This week's parsha is Parsha's Chaye Sara. We know at the end of last week's parsha that Abraham had to bring his son Isaac up as an offering. Hashem actually never told him to kill him, he just said to bring him up. That was Abraham's test. And when Sarah got wind of what happened, so she died. She heard the news that her son was nearly slaughtered and she died. On a simple level, that's how I understand it. And the question that I want to share with you is, here, here Abraham went out of his way to do, to do this incredible will of Hashem that he should seemingly have to take his son up to slaughter him as a sacrifice for Hashem. Now, the incredible amount of self-sacrifice, no pun intended, on, this, uh, on Abraham's part was incredible. It's, a, it's impossible for us to imagine what he went through, what Isaac went through. And he passed his test. And at the same time, though, his wife dies. And he comes back, he finds out that his wife dies. And the question is, why is Hashem seemingly punishing Abraham with the death of his wife after he did the most incredible act in mitzvah observance towards Hashem? It's a very, very important question. I hope you understand the, the brunt of it, because in order for you to, to appreciate the answer, the question is very, very important, that while he was doing this greatest mitzvah, the worst thing, one of the worst things that could have, that could have happened to him actually happened to him. He lost his dearly beloved wife. And I want to share an answer with you that's very, very profound, very, very deep, and very basic to Judaism. And certainly somebody on Abraham's level would be able to withstand this. And that the answer is, is that at the exact same time that one is doing a good deed, sometimes something bad can happen to really test us. Are you going to trust in Hashem? Are you going to believe in Hashem? Because the reaction would be, this is what I do for Hashem and this is what happens to me? And it doesn't seem to make sense. And nevertheless, Abraham was able to withstand that last ordeal. It was kind of part of the previous ordeal with his son, but he was able to withstand that last ordeal. And sometimes we'll say, I give charity, Hashem, and, and then you make me lose my job? So it could be in that scenario, maybe you gave charity, maybe the money you had to give the charity wasn't you weren't careful with, but, but sometimes really Hashem is wants to test you. He says, yeah, I gave you, you gave charity because you said, you know what, I'm giving charity. And with that, uh, hopefully to be a merit for me. And all of a sudden something bad happens to you. Hashem wants to see, how much do you really want to give charity? Do you really want to give it? All right, well, find out. I'm going to let something bad happen to you. Or, is it, or are you going to say, you know what, Hashem is just testing me. I'm still going to give the charity. Or people went to, this, to a synagogue and people pray and something bad happens to them. They get killed. This is what happens if people would go to a synagogue and they should get killed? Hashem wants to see how we are going to react. And my friend Shlomo Farhi, a dear friend of mine, put out a message to a lot of his students that, I don't know how often you go to shul, but if you haven't gone to shul, even never in your lifetime, maybe choose this week to go to synagogue. Because you have to show Hashem that they are trying to get rid of us. But nevertheless, we are trying to remain around. And one of the best ways for us to remain around is to do the will of Hashem. So at least this week, even if it's a little difficult for you, try to make it to synagogue. If you do, we keep Hashem's Torah, then Hashem certainly will allow us to continue to exist. That is a promise, that is a guarantee, not for me, but from Hashem himself. And if we do, hopefully we'll merit to see Mashiach speedily in our days. So don't let any negative thing that might happen to you through a mitzvah throw you off track. Rather, Hashem is tapping deep, even further deeper down to see what you really have inside of you. Have a great Shabbos, and we should only hear good news. Thank you.